Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra and I make videos all about cybersecurity, having a career in technology, as well as work vlogs. And you may have noticed that I am in a different filming locations, but I am still working on eventually getting a more permanent filming setup. But today we're gonna to be talking about whether or not boot camps are really worth it or not. So I'm gonna be talking about tech boot camps in general, but I'll also be talking about cybersecurity boot camps later on in this video as well, more specifically, since I know a lot of you are interested in cybersecurity roles. But in this video, I'm also gonna go over holistically the statistics of the percentage of people who actually get jobs after graduating from a boot camp and how much do those jobs pay, where those jobs are, what companies are known to hire from boot camps, which boot camps are the most popular, how much they cost, and also more unique factors of boot camps like ISAs or income shared agreements, as well as boot camps that only make you pay after you graduate and actually find a job. So I know that was a really long intro. Feel free to jump around the video in the timestamps below and let's get into it. And all the sources that I'm pulling data from in this video will be listed in the link below as well. Okay, so I did end up moving because there was a bit of an echo in that room. Hopefully this is a little bit better, but I basically wanted to start with a few statistics on bootcamp graduates. So in 2020, more than 44,000 people graduated from or attended a bootcamp in the US, which was a 30% increase from 2019, which you can obviously see there's a huge growth in the number of bootcamps out there as well as people who are choosing to attend. But of course, 2020 was a year where there was a lot of virtual learning and a lot of people decided to make career moves and that probably also prompted people to to join a boot camp the average cost of tuition for a bootcamp program was about $11,000 in 2020, which is a lot less than college, but is still a pretty high price. And there were 47 bootcamps who offered a income shared agreement, which is basically, sorry, there's a cat, which is basically a contract that says that you will pay for the bootcamp when you get a job and you share some kind of income with that bootcamp program that basically trained you and helped you get a job. And these are actually the bootcamps I like better. I'm sure there's a lot of different variations of this from how much they take from you once you get a job, how long they will be sharing your income, and it's probably all based on how much your tuition is. But for programs that don't make you pay until you find a job or they help you get a job, you probably will be paying a higher ticket price to be sort of guaranteed a job within like a six month time frame after you graduate from the program or something like that. The major cities where bootcamp attendees lived and bootcamps were New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, DC, and Seattle which probably won't surprise most of you since a lot of these cities are big tech hubs already. And I think DC is a tech hub that specifically has a lot of cybersecurity companies and talent just because there are more government jobs and jobs that require secret or top secret security clearances, as well as government contractors like North Rock or MITRE or defense agencies. Now again, since I'm looking at statistics specifically for boot camps in general, a lot of boot camps really focus on coding and software development. And since cybersecurity is a bit more niche, it was harder to find statistics that were specifically about cybersecurity, but I will be going into that a little deeper later on in this video. Web development and software engineering skills were the most popular skills that were taught at boot camps. Basically, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and Python were popular skills learned. And this might surprise you guys a little bit, but the biggest employers of boot camps were the big tech companies. So Facebook, Google, Amazon, as well as Microsoft and JP Morgan Chase were the top employers for these bootcamp graduates and bootcamp programs. And honestly, I think that says a lot because when you are you know, constantly hiring from four year or two year colleges, it might be harder to get that breadth of diversity when it comes to securing top talent for tech candidates. And at a bigger company, it's more likely for you to want to hire from a bootcamp because they come with a different set of skills and they might come with a different perspective as well because they learn differently from someone who sat through four years of college and probably only took the major coding classes in the last two years of schooling. But in a bootcamp, it might be a six month program where they're heads down coding and doing those hands-on projects that you may not get all the time in schools. So I do think boot camps are really good options, especially when you don't have four years to give to a school and you are just trying to like switch careers or pivot into something new. And according to Hired.com, 72% of bootcamp graduates and attendees said that their bootcamp was worth attending and helped prepare them for an engineering job. And another really positive statistic by the Council on Integrity and Results Reporting is that the average percentage of bootcamp graduates that are employed after 180 days of completing their bootcamps is 79%, which honestly is probably higher than the percentage of college students who graduate from college and find a job within 180 days. Of course, that doesn't mean that all of them have found jobs that are related to what they studied in their bootcamp, like software development, web development, cybersecurity, but common fields are web development, software engineering, cybersecurity, data science, UX design, as well as cybersecurity. So coming from someone who was traditionally educated from a four-year state college, I had a pretty typical technology learning background. And I think that if you really take all that I've learned in terms of coding into 
a six month boot camp, I do think it would be more worth it financially, as well as just thinking about how much time it takes to go through college. And the fact that boot camps do prepare you for real world life experiences a lot more than colleges do. And if you think about it in a way where college is really for an experience and, and a bootcamp is really for that heads down learning and coding. Now I will also have the website linked below about the average salaries of the different roles. And the average salary after graduating a bootcamp is about $70,000, which, which is already more than the average salary for the US average household income. So obviously that is a very good number. But of course this is gonna vary based on where you're living, state you're in, what city you're in, as well as if you have any previous years of experience, if you already have some kind of degree or certification, and the kind of experience that you already have. I also have a video linked below on how much you get paid in cybersecurity if you guys are also interested in that. Okay, so in terms of the most popular boot camps for technology, so this isn't necessarily specifically gonna be for cybersecurity, but a lot of the big tech boot camps do have cybersecurity tracks that you can choose from or look into. But I would also say that starting out with a boot camp in, in coding or just software development, web development is actually very helpful just because it gives you that foundational knowledge of technology. And if you're going into cybersecurity, you're likely going to learn some kind of coding in that boot camp anyway. So you might as well choose a boot camp that also teaches you coding because it's a really good skill to have in your pocket if you want to go into scripting, DevOps, or malware analysis, or really any kind of technical role in cybersecurity. So if you did something like a coding bootcamp and then got a cybersecurity certification and, and had experience doing hack the box, capture the flag challenges, then that is honestly, I would say the perfect resume for a cybersecurity candidate, especially for lots of entry level roles nowadays. Okay, so the most popular bootcamps are General Assembly, Flatiron School, Springboard, Lambda School, Iron Hack, Brain Station, Thinkful, App Academy, just to name a few. And these are based on data collected from LinkedIn by Career Karma. And I'll also share a screenshot of the top bootcamps based on employer. So I would say that General Assembly seems like the very popular bootcamp that a lot of companies tend to hire from. And I think that's a really good sign just in terms of knowing that you're going into a bootcamp, that other people who have graduated from this bootcamp have also found jobs at these amazing tech companies. So I'll definitely look into this a little bit. Of course, these may be more leaning towards software engineering or web development, just because that is the more popular niche for bootcamps nowadays. But I would still look into something more niche for cybersecurity if that's what you're interested in, in these tech companies. And I would say that the higher starting salaries for bootcamp graduates is because majority of them are in major cities that have higher or medium cost of living areas. For example, many of them are in New York, Austin, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle. So these are known to be those, you know, major tech hubs that I mentioned earlier, but they're also higher cost of living areas. So because so many bootcamps are kind of collected in these big cities, that's why the average salary for these bootcamp attendees may be higher than than the average college grad, which are, you know, across the country, the cost of living and the salary ranges might vary a lot. And when you look at the requirements for actual technology roles and roles in service security nowadays, they don't necessarily require things like a four-year bachelor's degree, like a lot of job requirements used to state. They really are looking for years of experience, familiarity with different tools, proficiency with certain skills that the team is looking for. And I'll also share a list of the most popular cybersecurity bootcamps out there. But while you're looking for a cybersecurity bootcamp, I would really look at what the cybersecurity, what the bootcamp is actually offering. Some of them might just be offering to help you pass a cybersecurity certification, like your Security Plus or your A Plus. Some of them might be helping you pass your CEH or your CISSP if you have more years of experience and are looking to make that next jump in your career. But some of them do help train you for on the job things and skills and can be a lot more immersive and hands on depending on really what you're looking for. The Flatiron, Dev League, Penn Cybersecurity Bootcamp, Springboard, and Iron Half are a few that are popular options to choose from and look into. I would say that because a lot of these bootcamps are virtual, if you do decide to go towards a bootcamp that is part of a university, it might be beneficial for you just because, because there may be a more close knit alumni community that you can kind of reach out to and probably have a mentor assigned to you or something like that. And while you're looking for a bootcamp, especially for cybersecurity, make sure there are some kind of hands-on labs or things, assignments that you're doing that may involve pen testing, running vulnerability scans, using the different tools that you would be using in an actual cybersecurity job. Otherwise, just having that bootcamp on your resume isn't really gonna help you as much as as much as those keywords, like, like knowing how to use Burp Suite or knowing how to use Metasploit or understanding what MMAP is or being able to actually go through and complete a a web application penetration test on a application. So you probably already know the answer to the question of whether or not you can find a job with a with a bootcamp 
or as a bootcamp graduate? And the answer is most definitely yes. There are a lot of people out there who've done it and it really is based on what you make out of it because you can complete the bootcamp and it's, I still not understand a lot of the tools and skills needed for a cybersecurity job or a, or a web development or software engineering job. But if you take the time to learn the skills and understand what you're doing and know the skills that you're bringing to the table for your next employer, then I would say it's definitely 100% worth it, especially because you're learning so much in a short amount of time and it doesn't cost as much as a college degree, which is of course a huge plus. So I know this video was kind of everywhere. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll try my best to get back to them as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.